مرحبا بكم في برنامج Welcome to Business Middle East. This week we analyzed the repercussions of the OPEC meeting decision. And in business snapshot, the United Arab Emirates energy minister tells Euronews the crisis is opening up new opportunities. According to analysts, it's clear from its meeting that OPEC wants to put more pressure on shale oil producers in the market. Well, despite the different views among OPEC countries, they've chosen to keep their market share. With oil supplies at a record high, there's speculation the price war could intensify. Let's take a closer look at the OPEC meeting and come back to discuss the repercussions. Despite the intensive discussions last Friday, OPEC members opted to keep oil production high at more than 31.5 million barrels a day, which will put more downward pressure on the price. Euronews asked the Saudi oil minister Ali Al Naimi if there are any plans to coordinate with Russia to stabilize the market. We've shown our willingness to coordinate with anyone who wants to stabilize the market. The Saudis and their Gulf allies have been sticking to their strategy of defending market share, hoping lower prices may ultimately drive higher cost producers like U.S. shale firms out of the market. The cost of producing in some, some non-oil, in some non-OPEC, is much higher than what we are now, so well, mathematically they won't continue. It's widely expected that OPEC will hold another meeting before June 2016 in the event of oil prices declining further. To shed more light on the outcome of the OPEC meeting, joining us from Abu Dhabi is Noor Eldin Al Hamari, ADS Securities Market Strategist. A lot of controversy last Friday in the OPEC meeting, so again, a high level of oil production. How do you interpret the outcome of the meeting? Retaining the production ceiling is not a major event for the markets, OPEC or even for oil prices. This is because OPEC members were already exceeding the previous ceiling of 30 million barrels a day from the start of the year. Moreover, they produced more than 32.4 million barrels a day in June. So OPEC members are already pumping out more than the allowed ceiling. Therefore, raising the ceiling is just a technical decision and doesn't mean that production has really increased. If they raise the ceiling above 32 million barrels a day, then that would be a game changer. What are the levels to watch now in the oil price and what's your forecast for the oil market and companies in the upcoming period? Beginning with the West Texas crude price, traders should keep an eye on $40, which remains a solid support, and we haven't seen any weekly close below that support. However, if we break that support, then we could see more downside. As for Brent crude, the level of $42.2 is also a significant support level, which was seen earlier this year. A close below that level might lead to further downward pressure. There might be some signs of stabilization, just like the one we saw in August of this year. A declining US dollar due to a small interest rate hike by the Fed in December may grant some price stability. Over the next few months, as the oversupply remains the same, with a slower global economy and no intentions by OPEC and non-OPEC members to cut production, we might see another round of acquisitions and mergers between big and smaller oil firms, including the shale oil companies, as lower oil prices affect earnings. Thanks, Noor. The United Arab Emirates is a pioneering country in the Gulf region in diversifying its economy. Years ago, it started working on several strategies to shift towards clean energy and to reduce its reliance on oil revenues. That's what I talked about with the United Arab Emirates Energy Minister Suhil al Mazroui in an exclusive interview after the OPEC meeting in Vienna. Let's take a look at some of the key points in Business Snapshot. The United Arab Emirates Energy Minister believes the OPEC policy of keeping production high is appropriate, even if the price is low. For him, it presents an opportunity to diversify the economy. Cutting production and targeting a certain price is no longer a successful policy. Today, certain prices could hurt a lot of us. 
But this is an opportunity also to reduce the cost and to build diversified economies and remove our reliance on oil. We must take advantage of the crisis, for it presents an opportunity. Do you mean low oil prices? The economic crisis and low oil prices. Al Mazrui also talked about the diversification of energy sources and the importance of green energy in the Emirates. Today, the Emirates has adopted a different policy. In 2021, we'll have about 30% of power generation from green sources, which don't emit carbon dioxide, or from either nuclear power or solar energy. You can watch the interview in full on Wednesday night and on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next week. شكرا لحسن المتابعة. إلى اللقاء